I speak well, but sometimes I just need text. What's up, PD peeps? It's Saturday. So it's time for me to bless you guys with the speech to text effect using PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use PowerDirector, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in YouTube. This cool effect allows you to create words that appear on the screen as you're speaking. It uses pictures and titles to make a cool effect for any video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the speech to text effect for your videos. Let's talk that talk. First thing that you need to do is take a screenshot of a YouTube comment. So we're on the right page right now. So all I'm going to do is press the print screen button on my keyboard. And it actually grabs a screenshot of this page. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go into photo director. Now from here, we're going to go on the edit tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on the add new layer area. And then I'm going to click on create empty project. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to change the width and height to match my video. Now, since I'm making an HD video, I'm going to make the width 1920 and the height 1080. And I'm going to make the background white. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to right click on the screen and I'm going to do paste selection. And it'll go ahead and paste in the screenshot that I created. At this point, I want to go ahead and crop it to only the comment that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and click on crop. And I like Bob Bachelor. Bobby doing his thing. Let me go ahead and unlock this aspect ratio. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on this check mark. And now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and remove the text that Bob put here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the guided tools button. And I'm going to go to the improve or remove section. So if it's not open, make sure you open that up. And then I'm going to go to content aware removal. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the tab for manual selection. I'm going to make sure that the manual brush for the plus is selected. You can go ahead and resize the brush. If it's too big here, you can make it smaller. If you want to zoom in, you can go ahead and zoom in on your selection so you can see it a little bit better. And then you can use your brush to select the area that you want to remove. And when you're done, go ahead and click on apply. If there's anything left over that you need to remove, go ahead and remove that. And when you like how it looks, go ahead and click on OK. And now you want to go ahead and save this photo somewhere so you can import it into Power Director. So you go to File, Save as a new photo file. You want to select the location where you want the photo to be saved. And you want to give the photo a name. And I'm going to keep original photo resolution. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on Export. And we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and go into Power Director, import the file, and then make that speech to text happen. Here we are in Power Director, and you can see that I have the photo that I created already imported into the project. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and left click on it and drag it down into the timeline. 
And I want the photo to be kind of long so that it can fit the words that I'm going to say. I even want it to be longer than the words I'm going to say, really. So I'm going to go ahead and click on duration. And I'm going to make it kind of long, 40 seconds. I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the title room so I can add some text to this. In the title room, I'm going to go ahead and choose the default title. I'm going to left click on it with my mouse, hold it down and drag it down to about uh, the five second mark on track two. And for this one, I want the duration to be kind of long too. So I'm going to click on the duration button. And I'm going to change it to 20 seconds and hit OK. And now I want to add the text that I want to use. So I'm going to double click on this title. And it opens up the title designer. So now I want to go ahead and grab the text that I want to use for this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in. You can type it in however you want. It's all good. So here in the title section, I'm just going to do control A and I'm going to do control V and it'll paste in the text that I want. And can't really see the text because it's white. So I need to make some changes here. I'm going to double click on the text. And I'm going to first change the font size to the size that I want. And I'm going to change the size to six. And let's go ahead and place it on here. And I still can't see it because it's white. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color. And I'm going to change it to gray because the text on YouTube is like kind of like a dark gray. And I'm going to even make it darker by moving the slider down over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And so now we've got our text on here. But if we play back this title, you see that the text is just sitting there. It doesn't move. And I want the text to appear as I'm speaking. So what we'll do at this point is we'll go ahead and click on the text. We'll click on stop first to stop it. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to effect. And I'm going to choose a starting effect. And I want to choose the effect called wipe right. And you see what it does in that preview. It makes it appear like it's being typed onto the screen. So if we go back to the object setting and we press play, we see that it types the text on here for us. So that's exactly what we need. But based on how fast you're speaking, you may need the text to go faster or slower. So in order to change the timing of the text, you need to go ahead and go down to this front bracket here. And when you see your mouth change to align with two arrows, if you drag it to the left, it means that the text will show up in less time, which means that it'll show up faster. So if I press play, you see the text shows up faster. And if I move the bracket to the right and I press play, it'll show up slower. So based on your needs, make sure that you move this bracket to the left or the right, because whatever's playing and speaking, when you play the title, if you have the title over where you're speaking, you'll be able to make the adjustments and make it fit perfectly for your needs. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on OK. And we can play it back and see what it looks like. Word up. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.